hello 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 happy sunday i'm filming this video on a sunday how are you doing um good to be back on this channel um this is a channel called real life stories where i come on here i share real life stories of what's happening whatever catches my attention um i'm really into i'm hoping to draw attention to topics really about real life about people's joys their experiences their sufferings um, you know, I would like to call attention to abuse and other heavy topics, uh, mental health. Those are the two, two, two things that you're always going to hear about on this channel, especially to, to my community, our community. I'm Nigerian and, you know, people of that community, Africans or people in general, um, cause I think that this is not something that is spoken of enough. So I'd like to be able to shine a light on those types of topics as well. Um, so if you're interested in that kind of content, subscribe, like this video immediately and share it. And the reason why you keep hearing people saying subscribe, like, and share is because we need that. We need your support. I need your support on this channel so you can help the channel grow so that the word can get out there about this channel. So, you know, <laughs> I just thought to myself, I said, you know what, I'm making stories about, um, content about real life stories on YouTube, but I haven't really shared any much about myself. So I'm going to um, take some time to share about my own self uh, today, <laughs> which could be a little bit uncomfortable. I'm much rather tell other people's stories than tell mine. But um, I am a mom. I am a wife. I am a child of God. I am a Christian. Um, I am a lawyer. I am I'm a lot of things. What else am I? <laughs> um, I don't know. I'm a woman. You know, I'm, 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 I'm a joyful person. I um, was born in Nigeria. Like I said, I'm a Nigerian and grew up in Lagos. For those of you who are my Lagos people who live the um, what's up in the uh, comment section um i was born and raised in lagos nigeria and um moved to the u.s many years ago or many years ago now i don't remember how many years i don't know close to 20 years ago at this point right and uh, live in the east coast uh we put my east coast people give me say hi to me in the comment section as well uh, a lot of family members have moved away from the East Coast, so my husband and I and, and our kids we're we're holding strong, East Coast strong, right? We're, we're holding it down here. So we live in the East Coast, and it does get cold here. We're uh, we're in spring officially now, but it doesn't for me. It doesn't feel like it yet. I need some more warmth. I need the weather to get warmer. But we're officially in the spring weather. Maybe that's why I'm sniffing right now, because when the weather changes, you know, it just, you know, uh, sometimes allergies and things are triggered. So, but anyways, what else? Um, yeah, I think that's about it. Grew up um, in Lagos, Nigeria with my family. Um, I guess, you know, growing up, you can describe us as a middle class family in Lagos. Uh, we didn't really, we didn't have uh, needs. You know, our needs were met. Let me put it that way. Our basic needs. We had a roof over our head. You know um, parents that were providing for us um, we had a lot of things we had um, work we were comfortable we were comfortable we were okay so that was a family I grew up in um, good family and um, Yoruba <laughs> Yoruba <laughs> family for those who know what Yoruba mean um, culture tribe in Nigeria and um what else like i said moved to the u.s maybe it's 20 years ago to um or less to pursue um studies i came to this country to study i got a student visa and i got an admission into a school the school was in michigan actually in the midwest so i went to school in michigan usa that was how i started i started out uh, with my um associate's degree for people who know like you know what an associate degree is if you're working on an associate degree right now or if you live in michigan at the moment you know give me a shout out in the comment section i went to um, lansing community college lansing community college in michigan i did my associates there and then and then at some point we moved um 
to uh, Massachusetts uh, and I got my uh, what's it called bachelor's in Massachusetts and also my um, law degree so um, and in between all of that you know got married to my loving husband you know we have three children and um, just life <laughs> Just, I know over time I'll make separate videos about different aspects of my life but I'm just trying to give an overview um, of, of, of my life three children it is um, 12 10 and 7 so we've been busy I, I, we were just talking about it at one point we were you know bathing three children that you know they were so young that they need, we needed to bathe them and I think we were changing diapers for all three of them at one point mostly by ourselves so and sometimes we ask ourselves how did we get through that season now the youngest is age seven sometimes we ask ourselves how did we get through that season it was bananas it was as chaotic as you think it was that's exactly what it was so if you are if that is the season that you're in right now please tell your story in the comment section because this show is about telling stories how are you doing it i'm sending prayers to you I'm sending strength to you. I'm sending love to you. We've been there with three of them under the age of five. And we know that it was not easy. And uh, we tell one of our kids right now, you know, who's probably going to edit this video. <laughs> he's the one that helps me to edit my videos. So he's going to see this. And, you know, when he was young, he was, you know, he's one, obviously, you know, one boy. But he had, to us, he had the strength of three, three sons. So that we call him three sons in one because it's like he had the strength of three sons and we went through it with him but he's an amazing um more mature and adjusted uh young man at this time so yeah you know if you're share, share your story in the comment section let me know what season you're in right now our kids are fairly independent you know we don't need our help to to eat we don't have to feed them we don't have to change any diapers we don't have to do any of that anymore we don't have to dress them anymore they dress they're in the, they dress themselves so they're independent so that's the season that we're in right now and we are like they can actually help to clean you know they do chores in the house you know unlike before when they're super younger we're the ones doing everything like i said we're doing everything so if that's the season that you're in, I, I give you, you know, Vosa. <laughs> I give you a thumbs up. You know, God will see you through. But yeah, like I said, I'm a Christian. Our faith is a big part of our story for me. And like I said, in, in a separate video, maybe I'll go more into it. But for me, it's my faith that I've kept me sane. That I've kept me alive when I, you know, maybe didn't see any reason to be alive i was never suicidal per se but i'm just saying that sometimes you go through a tough season and you wonder what's my purpose why am i even here it's my faith that has kept me it's my faith that has um that that continues to keep me going um sometimes you go through tough situations and people lean on so many different things i lean on faith i lean on god you know through his son jesus christ so um so my faith is very very big so that's part of you know it's not something that i that i can hide it just shines through in everything i do you know it, it's gonna come across in, in all my videos um i've learned through my journey of life to have peace i've learned to have joy i've learned to i've learned about me oh my god mm, mm, mm. there's so much i can talk about but it's not gonna fit into one video i can talk about um, PTSD I can talk about um, intrusive thoughts I can talk about um, you know maybe family drama extended family I can talk about uh, so much so much so much church <laughs> maybe some of y'all even want to hear about church oh I didn't mention that I was a pastor's wife but I am so I can talk about that that's a whole nother chapter Okay, I can talk about <laughs> so much, so much, so much, even career, you know, even, you know, being in the ministry, we still work and you know, we still have careers as well. So, cause we got to pay those bills, right? And we have to fulfill, you know, um, ourselves, we have to feel fulfilled in, in life. So, yeah, so there's a lot that I can talk about. So if any of those topics concern you, maybe you want me to talk about 
you know, law school or being a lawyer. Maybe you want me to talk about church and being in ministry. Maybe you want to talk about being a mom. Maybe you want me to talk about, um, you know, raising children, raising wholesome, healthy, thriving, happy children, you know, in this day and age where everything, everyone seems to be confused and crazy. Yes, I said it. Um, I could talk about that. Um, I mean, that's my real life story in a, in a nutshell, cause you know, I'm hosting the show called real life stories. And I said, you know what? I need to share a little bit about myself. And as I keep on going, I'll share more because I am here for you. I'm here to share it all uh, so that somebody else can be blessed and somebody else can learn something and be touched. If you want me to talk about prayer, if you want me to talk about just whatever you think that from watching this video that you think, you know what? I want to hear about this topic. I want to hear about that topic. Drop it in the comment section, like this video, subscribe to this channel. And with time, I will, you know, produce more of these kinds of, um, content. So thank you so much for watching this video and, you know, share this video with someone. If you've been blessed, um, if you're a fellow Nigerian like me, say hi to me in the comments. If you're a fellow African, if you're a fellow human, <laughs> say hi to me in the comment section. And, um, and I hope to see you on my next video. God bless you. And I hope you have a great week. Take care.